So this is what video out of a full frame medium format phase one camera looks like. I found it pretty interesting. The full frame perspective is a four by three aspect ratio. So I'm not really sure how useful it is. You can get 1080p, but only 30 frames per second. So I know it's pretty limiting for videographers, but I just wanted to show a few examples of what it looks like, uh, especially compared to full frame uh, SLR or full frame mirrorless. So the lens I have on right now is a 35 at f 3.5, that's the widest and shallowest lens that I could find right now to mount to this phase one. So the perspective is, is crazy wide for a 35 that you might be used to. Uh, obviously the math is different the larger the sensor you go. So this is roughly equivalent to a 24 millimeter at f1.4 on a regular 35 millimeter full frame camera. Can't speak right now. I'm gonna swap lenses to this beautiful sought after Mamiya 80 millimeter at f1.9. So, Cut now. Now you're looking at me from what's roughly a 50 millimeter equivalent at a very shallow depth of field. I'm not sure how the math works out. Uh, like I said, the lens native is an 80 millimeter at f1.9. Uh, so incredibly shallow depth of field. Really, really shallow. I probably wouldn't use this very often. I wanna switch over to my Canon SLR. 24 millimeter. Before I do that, I'm gonna go back. Okay, so we are back to the 35 millimeter mount, which has the equivalent perspective of a 24 in terms of width. But because this is a four by three aspect ratio, you get a lot more data on a medium format camera vertically. So what's interesting and a bit unfortunate for video, if you ever wanted to use one of these, it's not really worth it unless you wanted to keep it in the four by three aspect ratio because you can crop this to look exactly the same when it's a 16 by nine, the way I would record typically. So I'm gonna crop it now to 16 by nine. Great, now I'm gonna switch cameras to the good old Canon EOS R with a 24 at f1.4 in the exact same position for the camera on the tripod there. And just like that, I've switched over to the 24 f1.4 on the Canon EOS R. And so I'm gonna to toggle a few of these back and forth and back and forth. And you can see the difference when you actually crop it down to what's gonna be probably the most used aspect ratio. All you're losing is that top and bottom, which does give you a little more flexibility if you wanna pan and scan around your shot in post, but I couldn't care less about that. So that was a sample of the HDMI output from this big old camera. And the back is the IQ3, not the new one that just came out, but the IQ3, which is a massive, massive medium format sensor. So good for still photos, probably not that useful for video. I couldn't find any video output on YouTube. Um, so I just wanted to make this, uh, so in case anybody else got curious in the way that I did, you can now see the differences. So thanks.